Before we get started, I want to begin by saying that due to the stock market and real estate crash of 2006 to 2008, the enforcement of the laws that we will be talking about today were previously enforced by HUD. Though HUD still exists and has some responsibility, it was stripped of its total responsibility regarding the federal laws as they relate to the home buying process. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is now the enforcer of the federal laws we will be discussing unless otherwise specified. So let's start by talking about RESPA. When we talk about RESPA, we are referring to the Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act. The Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act is a federal law that is enforced by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. RESPA's goal is to be able to provide consumers with a more timely information on the nature of costs during the settlement processes. RESPA is also known as Regulation X, and I like to remember it by thinking about the T-Rex dinosaur. I like to call it t Rexpa. The T stands for the timing of the information throughout the settlement process and X for regulation X. And then we have T Rexpa. Now, when I say the T in T Rexpa stands for timing of the information regarding the settlement processes, what exactly do I mean by that? What I'm talking about is the disclosures that are given at specific times to help consumers understand the settlement costs associated with their loan. You can think of it as an action, and when you have an action, you need a reaction, right? RESPA states that if a borrower takes specific actions to be considered for a loan, a mortgage loan officer, lender, or other entity involved in the loan process must respond with a specific action within a specified period of time. It's important that you know what RESPA does and does not apply to. Let's first talk about what RESPA does apply to. RESPA applies to residential properties that are one to four units and owner occupied. Again, RESPA applies to residential properties that are one to four units and are owner occupied. The SAFE test doesn't only care about what rules apply. They're also testing your knowledge about what these laws do not apply to. RESPA does not apply to commercial property, agricultural property, vacant land, or temporary financing. Again, RESPA does not apply to commercial property, agricultural property, vacant land, or temporary financing. A way I remember that RESPA does not apply to these things is by thinking of the acronym CAVITY, spelled C-A-V-T. Let's break down what these things mean according to RESPA. The C in CAVITY stands for commercial property. Commercial property, according to RESPA, is anything that has a business that provides goods or services. The A in CAVITY stands for agricultural property. When we talk about agricultural property, it's important that you know that we're always talking about 25 or more acres. So remember, agricultural property equals 25 or more acres. The V in cavity stands for vacant land. This one they'll use to try to trick you because there is an exception to vacant land. So put an asterisk up by the letter V in your acronym to remind you of the exception associated with vacant land. Vacant land does not apply to RESPA unless a dwelling is intended to be constructed on the land within two years. So. If a one to four unit residential property that is owner occupied is built on the land in less than two years, RESPA does apply. But other than that exception, RESPA does not apply to vacant land. And finally, the T in cavity 
stands for temporary financing. It's critical that you understand what some examples of temporary financing are. One is known as a bridge loan, which we'll discuss more in detail about in a later module, but what you need to know about a bridge loan for the purposes of RESPA is that it is a loan that is used to bridge the gap of financing the purchase of a new home before selling your existing residence. Another example of temporary financing is known as construction loans. So just to recap, we need to remember that RESPA does not have cavities, meaning RESPA does not apply to commercial property, agricultural property, vacant land unless an owner occupied one to four unit residential property is to be constructed on the land within two years and RESPA does not apply to temporary financing such as bridge loans and construction loans. Using the knowledge we've learned about RESPA so far, let's try a question that you may see on the test. Remember, we're looking for the most correct answer when we're answering questions both in practice and on the real exam. The question states, a property that Regulation X applies to would be A, a four unit plaza occupied by the owner's business, B, a 29 acre property with a duplex occupied by the owner on one side and a tenant on the other, C, a vacant property that is intended to build an owner occupied triplex in three years, or D, a 24 acre property with a fourplex occupied by the owner. Take some time to answer and we'll go over it together in just a few minutes. Now let's use the process of elimination to find our answer. Answer A states, a four unit plaza occupied by the owner's business. Well, we know that the C in cavity stands for commercial property. So a four unit plaza occupied by the owner's business would not apply to RESPA. So let's cross that off. Answer B states, a 29 acre property with a duplex occupied by the owner on one side and a tenant on the other. Well, we know that the A in cavity stands for agricultural property. And agricultural property is anything that is 25 acres or more. So with this answer having 29 acres, we know this can't be the correct answer. So now we have C and D to choose from. Answer C says, a vacant property that is intended to build an owner-occupied triplex in three years. Now this answer is talking about vacant land, and even though it does meet the criteria of RESPA by anticipating to be both owner-occupied as well as a triplex, the key here is that it isn't intended to be built there for three years. And we know that RESPA can apply to vacant land only if the property is intended to be constructed in two years or less. So this answer is not correct. That leaves us with the correct answer of D, which reads a 24 acre property with a fourplex occupied by the owner. This answer meets all of the criteria of a property that RESPA does apply to. Remember, the test will try to trick you with the small little details and exceptions to the rules, which is why it is so essential you don't just know the definition, but you understand how the definition applies in sample scenarios like the question we just answered. If you found this video helpful and want more content just like this, I have an entire course completely dedicated to everything you need to pass the SAFE exam. I have over four hours worth of content, over a hundred practice questions, as well as summaries of each module. And they are available for purchase at mlosafetestprep.com. Because you listened to this whole video, I'm gifting you a $20 coupon code that you can apply at checkout. And the coupon code is lucky 20 for $20 off the course. And this is good until March 31st, 2022. For more coupon codes and to see what offers are available at the time that you're watching this video, be sure that you email 
MLO safe test prep at gmail.com.